A body of mass m is thrown at an angle to the horizontal with initial velocity v0 vector. Assume the air track to be negligible, find the momentum increment delta p in first t seconds and the delta p during the total time of flight. So the object is launched at an angle theta. So theta is not given actually, they are given as v0 vector. So we need to find the momentum increase. So let's find it in two ways. One is fdt and one is m into final velocity minus initial velocity. Let's start with fdt. This is simpler because we know force is constant. So in projectile motion, force is mg vector times delta t is t. So delta p is mg vector into t. Second method, m into vf minus vi. So if it is launched with a velocity v0 vector, so initial velocity will be v0 cos theta. Actually, this should be here and this should be here. Let me fix this. All right, this is better. So initial velocity is v0 cos theta i cap plus v0 sin theta j cap, yeah? And final velocity, so in x direction velocity is constant. So v0 cos theta i cap plus v0 sin theta minus gt into j cap. So here, if you just subtract vf minus vi, you'll be left with m into minus gt into j cap or minus mgt j cap. So both are same things because you know minus g into j cap is g vector. Now coming to the second part for the total time of flight, what will be the change in momentum? So initially the particle was at uh, theta angle v0 and eventually it was going in the plane at again at angle theta with the horizontal. So change in momentum is m into vf vector minus vi vector. So horizontal components will cancel out, vertical components will remain and that will be minus m. So in vector form we are writing, so m minus m into two into v naught sine theta. So initially it is v naught sine theta up. Finally, it is v naught sine theta down. So final minus initial is two times v naught sine theta down. And down means j cap. So two times v naught sine theta j cap. This is the change in velocity times m that is change in momentum. So we are not given the value of theta. So that for that we'll see just see this that g vector is downwards and v naught is an angle theta with the horizontal. So g dot v naught will be g v naught into cos of 90 plus theta or g into v naught sine theta. So from here we'll put the value of v naught sine theta here and get our answer minus 2m into g dot v naught by g into j cap our answers.